Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. I can't believe I've never filmed this video before and so I am so pumped to be presenting you with my favorite corally orangey creamsicle blushes and highlighters and blush lighters and whatever you want to call them. These are my favorite favorite orange tone blushes to put on my cheeks in the spring and summertime. So without further blabbering, let's get into it. So I'm so excited to show you guys what I have found in my collection as my favorite orangey tone blushes. The first one is an affordable one. This is from the brand ColourPop and this is one of their blushes that they collab with with Kathleen Lights and this is called So Retrograde. I'm not sure if you can buy this at the moment but look at this shade it is so beautiful it's so glowy i love to wear this on my skin i haven't gotten too much use out of it recently but it's so so stunning and the first time i met angie i actually gifted her this blush because i knew she wanted it as well and i think it's just a beautiful orangey sheeny blush and she like knocked it out of the park i'm so happy kathleen lights designed that blush for ColourPop because I think it's definitely a great addition to their lineup so I keep that in a Z palette. Now the next one is a newer blush to my collection but oh my gosh this baby packs a punch. This is the Mini Bloom by Natasha Denona and this is definitely more coral than it is orange but on the cheeks oh it is so fire for summer. I cannot wait to wear this even more than I already have this year. Look at that baby shine. It is so beautiful. I have another Natasha Denona favorite, so I might as well show that to you guys. This is the shade Alba from her Duo Glow Powder Formula. This is stunning. I've had this for so, so long, and now that I look at it, it looks so much like the Mini Bloom. Let's see. Okay, this one's definitely more of a coral. Oh, this on my skin tone is so perfect. I treasure this blush. It's so good. I picked it out when I was in Las Vegas for the first time and it has such good memories and it's so, so beautiful. I love it so much. Now, another favorite orange. I mean, to just keep saying another favorite, another beautiful. This is so beautiful. This is Genesis from Melt. I call it a highlight, but I wear it as a blush. Oh, do you guys see this? Am I in makeup heaven or what? So that is the shade Genesis by Melt Cosmetics. And I just love putting that on my face in the summertime. It's so glowy. It's so pretty. Here's another one. You guys may have not heard me talk of this one too much, but this is Becca in Dreamsicle. And I don't think they make this anymore, but it's so stunning. I'm so happy I purchased this because this was one of those I think everyone was like, eh, not sure if I need this shade. I wear this as a highlighter, to be very honest, but it has the most beautiful creamsicle look, and it just blends so beautifully into my cheeks in the summertime. It's just such a perfect highlighter for my tan tan skin tone in the summer. Here's an oldie but a goodie. If you guys have been watching my channel for a couple of years, you have seen me rave about this. This is the Kevin Aquan Neo Blush in Sunset. It's so pretty, you guys know, me and corals. Oh god, and then you can like blend the two shades together because it's like an ombre. Oh, I don't think you guys are ready. Oh, it's so pretty. Look at my arm right now. <laughs> oh, it's so beautiful. It's just like a wash of coral and you can like make it intense. You can make it less intense. You can do whatever you want with this blush and it is so beautiful. I have to show you two really pretty ones in the Juvia's Place blush palettes. Oh my gosh. So the one in the second blush palette is a matte, this orange color called Tau. And then there is a bright, bright orange in the first blush palette for the deeper skin tones called Toby. Look at these two colors. Oh my gosh, they're so pigmented. It's insanity. Oh, so pretty. Juvia's Place blush palettes are so underrated. They're so affordable and they have two different versions. There's one for deeper skin and for lighter skin. So if you are on the hunt for an affordable blush palette that packs a bang, check those two out. They're so good. They're so underrated. I don't hear people talking about them as much as they used to, but they're so good 
and they have hung on in my collection for quite some time. This one is a bit of a newer blush as well. This is the Milani in the shade Coralina. Now, I have had many, many blushes from Milani, but this is my first one in the shade Coralina. So here is that, and again, it's glowy, it's corally, it's the perfect name, and it's the most beautiful, beautiful shade, and I love the baked blushes from Milani. A great drugstore find. And I'm gonna show you another highlighter. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Highlighter, Loose Highlighter in the shade Peach Fizz. Oh my gosh, when I first saw this, I knew I had to have it, so of course I have it. It's so beautiful, it's so subtle. Can you guys see that? My arm is looking all kinds of crazy. Let me see if I can get more of a swatch. Oh, I know, I'll put it in the lid. So, I just use a brush usually when I'm trying to apply this, but this is gonna be messy. Okay, here we go. Ooh, it's pretty. It's such a beautiful, corally, shimmery, goldeny. Oh, it's so good. Please check it out if you guys are able to. And then I have this one. This is kind of old, actually. This is ColourPop No Vacancy. I really like the ColourPop Super Shock blushes. So this is what it looks like. And I don't think this is going to swatch well because it's kind of old. But it picks up really well with a synthetic brush. And I just blend it onto the cheeks and it looks so beautiful. So ColourPop Super Shock blushes are so good. They're so underrated. People ask me all the time how I use them. I just say grab a synthetic brush and just dig in there and then it applies beautifully to your cheeks. So there is a shade No Vacancy. And then very similar to the ColourPop Super Shock blush formula is this new one by MAC. This is the shade Groovy. Oh my gosh, this texture is so wet and beautiful. Look at that shade. It's so stunning. <laughs> I love my arm right now. Can you tell? It's so beautiful. It's creamy. It just like blends into my skin. So you guys need to check out Groovy if you're on the hunt for some corally blushes. This is from the Sephora collection and I have to give a shout out to this blush. It does not have a name, but this looks like a dupe for the NARS Taj Mahal blush, which I've always wanted, but I've been too stingy to purchase because those blushes are expensive. Look at that beautiful orange blush. Oh my goodness, my arm is just giving me all the feels. Okay, so I have some new, new, new ones to show you guys and one that I'm not so in love with. This is one by M Cosmetics. This is the Sun Sunset Sky blush from M Cosmetics. It's one of their serum blushes. This came out, uh, I can't remember when. I need to try this out some more, but this packaging is a pain in the ass. This product is never in stock and I know so many people want to get their hands on them, but I feel like kind of blends into mostly nothing. I mean, I guess if you're a lighter skin tone, it'll probably show up more. So this one's really kind of a fail for me. I just wanted to throw it out there in case you guys are interested in it or in case you're my skin tone and you're like wondering about it. I would honestly say go for any one of these before you consider the M Cosmetics one. This one, can you tell? I'm just in love with this. This is the Kosas Helios Cream Blush and Highlighter. Oh my god, is it beautiful. I have been wearing this nonstop in videos and it just blends to the most beautiful shade and the highlighter is beautiful and you can like wear them together. It's, I guess it's not as corally, it's more of like an orange, like a terracotta shade, but it's so stunning. So I wanted to include it in this video. And then my two newest cream products that kind of fall into the corally, orangey situation is the Fuego Flush and Daiquiri Dip from Fenty Beauty. So I thought I'd swatch both of these for you guys. Ooh, these are creamy. I've used them once each. I don't love them as much as I do these ones. Like these are like tried and true. I've had them for so, so long in my collection. So I would definitely recommend all of these ones over the newer formulas I'm talking about in this video. But I know people are in the mood to shop and if you like shades like this, you will probably like these two shades. But these ones are holy grail. I've had them for quite some time, had time to test them out, and I really, really love them. This arm is just so satisfying to look at right now. I'm just going to stand here, 
like this. Should I make my thumbnail photo this? Just kidding. So anyway, here are all of my favorite corally, reddy, orangey blushes in my collection. These are my favorite shades to wear. I wear them in the summertime, in the wintertime, in the spring, in the fall. I just love a good bold orange blush on my cheeks. So I hope you guys enjoyed this video. Thank you so much for watching. Let me know what your thoughts are down in the comments and I will see you in my next one soon. Bye guys!